Hi, Jackie Ashley here, your mindset and alignment coach. And so today I really want to talk to you about growth mindset and fixed mindset. So what is the difference between a growth mindset and fixed mindset? So let's let's start off with um, a fixed mindset first, because obviously these are the two mindsets. The characteristics of a, a a fixed mindset is usually those who believe that their qualities and their traits um, are fixed. Okay, so they may believe that, um, for example, I'm a um, I'm naturally smart person, or just I'm a good dancer. Okay, and then um, now, often a fixed mindset also have a lot of them can be quite perfectionist as well. So they might find that, you know, um, little things, um, for example, they when they cover their flaws, they might get a little bit of defensive, okay? And fixed mindset people also believe that basically that's their characteristic and that's it. Um, and that, you know, um, these people also may document their um intelligence and talents rather than working on developing and and improving on that okay so they they also may believe that their talent alone is what makes them successful and that um, there's no effort or work required okay so yeah so for example let's so that for example um, with the natural say born singer, or let's say you're naturally a smart person at school, you know, they believe that they need to study, et cetera, or put any effort into um, um, studying, et cetera. But, you know, so the growth, those who have a growth mindset, um, they believe that, you know, anyone could be good at something, okay, if they work at it. So, the diff so how do we develop um, a growth mindset? So I'm going to talk to you. I want to give you 10 little tips that's going to, or 10 little tips and tricks, um, ways to actually develop a growth mindset. Okay. Now, having a growth mindset is going to actually give you flexibility, it allows you to be more adaptable, meaning that when you're more adaptable as a person, you're more likely to be more successful in life and see things differently. And when you see things differently, you actually behave differently. So how do we develop a growth mindset? Well, first of all, you must believe that you can change. You must believe that you can work on yourself to be better. And do the other thing is not letting other people's belief affect you okay because often so we take on what other people's belief and they get stuck so you can either choose right to believe what they say or you choose to say well actually no i'm going to change the way i think about this so looking things from a different perspective okay now the other thing is acknowledging your weaknesses okay so acknowledge what your weaknesses because we all have something that we're not as strong as or um not as good as so have a look at your weakness and acknowledge that and then focus on your strength right so the next is being it's what's called cause and effect rather than blaming or anything else rather than blaming other people or the environment etc this is where we take responsibilities for our own results and action and know that everything that's happened in your life actually you're responsible for you because when you take responsible responsibility for that you then are in the driver's seat that means then you are able to then to be able to start creating see the life that you want that you can and you can create the life that you want okay so learn to see 
The other thing is um, learn to see challenges as opportunities because there might be a bad, really bad situation. However, in any bad situation, there also lies an opportunity as well. So rather than seeing it as a bad situation, that's it, right? Um, look at it as an opportunity for you to say learn or find an opportunity within that to create a different outcome. Okay. Now, those with fixed mindset often do not take failure very, very well. So here's what this is. So this is what um, perhaps um, we can, it's, it's about changing a failure, the way you think about failure. So rather than seeing it failure as failure, see it as feedback. So fee, failure is really feedback. Failure is really about learning because if you don't fail, you, you won't learn. And the fact is the more we fail, the more we actually get better, the more we can actually create that into success. So I really, really encourage failure. Failure is really just feedback. The big failure is the failure to participate because if you don't take action or at least have it a go, one, you procrastinate and you will never know as well what the possibilities are. Okay, so the failure is the failure to participate work through the fear and just take action, whether it's a massive action or even a small action, okay? Learning, okay, continuous learning. The learning never, ever ends. Think of learning as your journey, as your life, because when you start to continue learning, learning is powerful. You can change the way you see things, but a, learning is a way for you to be able to not connect with yourself, but connect with the world around you and be able to give more value as well. So learning can help you to change you as a person because you'll be able to see things from all sorts of um, aspects, okay? So focus on what you want rather than focus on your on your bad traits or anything, focus on what you want, okay? So focus on the journey, enjoying the journey, okay? That is really, really important as well. Life is not the end results. It's really about the journey that we take on. So be kind to yourself and know that um, it's all about the learning process. So there you go, there are 10 of uh, my nine tips to help you to develop a growth mindset. Um, and if you need any more information or coaching, please don't hesitate to connect me at email jackie at jackieashley.com.